And Northwest News Washington State University will lead an effort to develop wheat varieties that are better at tolerating the high temperatures found in most of the world's growing regions. The $16 million project is part of the U.S. government's Global Hunger and Food Security Initiative called Feed the Future. Researchers aim to have their first set of climate resilient varieties in five years. The research will focus on the North Indian River Plain in India, which is home to nearly one billion people and faces challenges such as limited water. Researchers will seek to identify genes or sets of genes associated with heat tolerance. A wheat plant's productivity falls off dramatically when temperatures rise above 82 degrees. A man was sentenced yesterday in federal court in Tacoma to more than two years in prison for his part in a scheme that claimed tax refunds using the names and social security numbers of prison inmates. The U.S. Attorney's Office says 43-year-old Richard Wright of Tacoma and Associates filed 21 fraudulent tax returns for 2007 and 2008 and collected, collected nearly $72,000. A man who was in the Washington State Penitentiary in Walla Walla at the time, Kenneth Dorr, provided information on fellow inmates. Dorr is scheduled for trial later this year. Prosecutors say the group filed fake W-2 forms from companies that recently closed or declared bankruptcy. Two women involved in the schemes were sentenced earlier this year to seven and eight months in prison. The Navy has canceled the Blue Angels air show at this summer's Seafair celebration in Seattle. A spokeswoman says Seafair received official notice this morning. The performance had been in question because of cuts in federal spending plans. Seafair says it will still have an air show to go along with the hydroplane races, a summer tradition in Seattle. Seafair has booked the Patriots jet team, a six jet aerobatic team that performed at Seafair in 2007 and 2008. Some pilots have experience with the Blue Angels or the Air Force Thunderbirds. The Blue Angels have been part of Seafair for 40 years. The 64-year community festival includes more than 75 events over two months, culminating in the races and the air show on the first weekend in August. The woman found shot to death Sunday night at her home east of Yakima was an art teacher at Wapato Middle School. Superintendent Becky Emler told KIMA the death of uh, Desiree Sunford was like the loss of a family member. The 30-year-old woman uh, was in her second year as an art teacher at the Wapato School. Deputies responded to the home in the Terrace Heights area after her husband, Scott Sunford, called asking them to check on her because he was out of town and unable to reach her. Sheriff's Detective Stuart Graham said there had been a burglary a week ago at the home. Work is ramping up this summer on a $100 million project to contain toxic waste at an inactive mine on the Okanagan Wenatchee National Forest west of Lake Chelan. The Wenatchee World reports about 200 workers will be hired and housed at Holden Village for the work at Holden Mine. The copper, zinc, gold, and silver mine about 50 miles north of Chelan operated from 1938 to 1957. Mine tailings were left across 90 acres and acetic water drains into Railroad Creek. The work includes relocating a half mile of the creek away from the tailings, building a water treatment plant and stabilizing waste rock and tailing piles. The Rio Tinto Mining Company is managing the work under oversight by the Forest Service, Environmental Protection Agency, and the State Ecology Department. That's going to do it for us here at iFiber One News. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow night.